Hi, this is your girl Miss J. In this sequence, the soul inside Mudok's body, Naksu, was hypnotized by Jean Mu. He ordered her to kill Jean Wutak to prevent him from revealing Jean Mu's part in their evil schemes. Bewitched by the dark spell, she immediately killed all the people who step in her way with her fully regained powers. Jean Wutak went outside because of the commotion and asked Mudok about what was happening. Quickly realizing that the person in front of him is an assassin, he tried to run away from her. Mudok slowly walked towards the terrified Wutak to finish her goal but was interrupted by Jean Cho Yun, who instantly protected her father. Jean Cho Yun bravely fought Mudok but to no avail. A confused Park Dong Gu then entered the scene and fought Mudok. The lovers helped each other and Park Dong Gu caught Mudok at sword point. Hesitating to kill her, Mudok retaliated and swiftly assassinated Jean Wutak. The man died on the spot and, soon after, Mudok was chased by mages in the forest as news about who she really is and what she did reached the mage leaders. A bloody and brutal fight broke out and despite running wild and being slowly petrified, no one can match her powers. However, Zhang Jingak mages appeared with Park Jean and completely surrounded her. Park Jean released a spell-casted arrow to kill Mudok who was calmly waiting for the attack. However, Jang Uk appeared out of nowhere and shielded Mudok from the coming arrow. Fortunately, Park Jean quickly stopped the weapon from hitting the young master. Shocked and worried at what was happening, Jang Uk looked at Mudok and slowly turned to Park Jean. He then turned to Mudok again but was shaken when she unexpectedly stabbed him with her sword. Time slowed as what just happened registered in everyone's minds. Jang Uk stopped Mudok from pulling her sword and embraced her. He slowly fell to his knees with her as he lost his strength, then uttered. <laughs> Through the pain, Jang Uk repeatedly called for her name. Mudok regained her consciousness and confusedly looked at Jang Uk's face. Seeing the blood on his face and her sword on his body, she realized what she had done. With extreme remorse and pain filling her heart, she started to break down. Jang Uk held Mudok's hand and saw that she is slowly turning into stone. As he intertwined their hands, some of their affectionate memories and promises, especially the one in which Naksu's sword must go through Jang Uk first if she was forced to kill again, flashed in her mind. Jang Uk then fell to the ground as Mudok completely broke down while calling his name. The heartbreaking moment was interrupted when the hypnotizing sound of the bells insistently rang in her mind. She slowly fell to the spell and Naksu lost her own will to Jean Mu again. That's it for this scene. Subscribe to Miss J for more recaps.